Hello everyone, in today's video we will go through how to use the ftrig and our trig function block and why they are so important to use. I made a small program to use for demonstration. I wired a blue button to input x0 and I made a tag named value that I connected to d10 as a word data type. To the y0 output I connected this tag output 0. And to my x1 input to the PLC I wired a red button. What I want my program to do is that once I press the blue button I want to add the value of 1 to the value tag. And it should do so until the value is greater than 4. Then my output y0 should go high. And the red button should reset the value back to 0. Let's test out this program on the PLC. As you can see the PLC will keep on adding value really fast. It will be adding one for each executed cycle instead of adding just one as I want. It don't even matter that I push it as quickly as I possibly can. It will still add a lot of value. So to solve this issue, we will change the program a bit and add a our trig block after the push button and see how it works. The rtrig block works like a rising edge bit. It will just pulse out one signal for each time it is triggered. Now let's see how it works with the rtrig block. As you can see now, that I push my button it will increase by just one. It don't even matter if I hold the button for a very long time. It will still just register it as a once time trigger. We will now try the program by adding the F trig block. It is a falling edge trigger. It means that the trigger won't happen until I release my bit that trigger the block. Let's see how it works on the PLC. As you can see now the value won't go up until I actually release the button.
Thank you for watching this tutorial. If you liked the video give it a thumbs up and subscribe. In the next video, we will be making a sequential program.